Hey man, nice to meet you. Bro. It's just a page of just my art. Yeah, that's sick. Yeah. So, I see that you do cover art on the internet for all these up and coming rappers and such. Who have you done cover art for so far? Uh, I've done a lot for a lot of like on the ground up and coming artists like Cameron Nazi, Zillakami, SOS Mula. I've done cover art for Lil Toenail, um, Katie Yacht. Um, I've done cover art for a lot of local artists like 10 cell phones. Um, who else? I, like, miss a lot of people sometimes. Uh, I did some art for young bands. I do a lot of fan art for X. X is familiar with my work. Um, who else? I'm doing a cover right now for Davies. Yeah, it's Yo, pretty. Yo, that is dope. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure... Uh, there's a lot more I always forget. Yo, that's that is sick, man. You came you Thanks, came boy. you came far. Yeah, like I remember when I first I, I started these cover art like drawings on my phone like uh, last October. Like I started like well yeah, I started the actual cover art like style that I had like randomly one day because like my style is really based off of Adventure Time yeah because Adventure Time is like my favorite TV show ever and I just like was just drawing randomly one day on paper and I used that app called Pixar and I just like drew this character for my friend named Lil Sav and he just like was really fucking with it and I just like posted it on my art page and everyone was like Give me one, give me one, give me one. And then randomly, um, I'm trying to remember my first, like, oh no, my, the first big artist I ever did, like, art for that, like, really got me popping was Trippy Red. He DM'd me and said he really liked it and he wanted something for, like, his mixtape, um, Rock the World, Trippy Red. And I did that and that's when. I figured out that I want to, like, stay around, like, the music industry and, like, making music for, like, hip-hop artists. That is, that is dope, man. I mean, making art for hip-hop artists. Yeah. That is, that's fire, man. That's fire. Thank you. Thanks. Dang. So, you talked about 10 cell phones. 10 cell phones is very infamous for the get like me 10 cell phones challenge where you get the guns and you pretty much do whatever like 10 cell phones is crazy he always got a gun in his hand you know yeah that's the homie um (laughs) he has a concert next wednesday and i'm actually gonna be his hype man stage it's gonna be really lit hey that's dope yo so how is 10 cell phones? What do you guys do together? Like, just hang out, skate? What do you guys do? Yeah, that's the homie. Um, We actually grew up on the same block, you know? Like, this is just, like, my bro. Like, that's family. We're going to bless each other. Like, we're going to the top together. Yo, that's what I like to hear. That is what I like to hear. Instead of that crab in a bucket mentality, that's what I like to hear. No, like, that's my brother. Like... Um, we got a plan, like, there's, I mean, I've just known him for a long minute, and we've both seen each other's, like, rise, and to rise is no finish, like, we're not gonna stop any time shooting, we're trying to shoot Charlotte to the top. Man, that's beautiful. Too many people in Charlotte are fighting each other. They need to be, they need to be family. That's true. There's too many haters like 
there's just people don't want to see people shine people don't do anything so they get jealous when you do something man that's the truth yo man so you have any inspirations or people you look up to that inspire anything you do uh i do i probably gonna sound like a hype beast um x been really inspiring me a lot lately um one of my favorite artists is Tyler the creator um he kind of made me who i am Tyler the creator like i don't know if people can see that in my stuff but i used to look up to tyler a lot like the os scene really changed my life and i Pretty sure it changed a lot of other people's lives too. They just don't remember it. Yo, that's but, true. But like, um, I don't know. I like. Uh, I want. I ran. I ran potato on Instagram. He's he's a goat. He's been inspiring me to create a lot more stuff because, like, I like found him on Instagram when he was just like everyone else just like posting on Instagram their like first ever ideas and stuff and he randomly blew up because a celebrity saw his work and like bought it you know yeah but um I ran really inspires me who's another person mm-hmm. I mean I, I can say I, I inspire myself a lot I think and I talk to myself all the time like I'm, I don't really have a lot of. I don't have a big friend group, so I'm. I do find myself like thinking and talking to myself and giving myself like my own ideas. Dang, oh, that's awesome. That is awesome. Speaking of, uh, I'm Ram Potato. Tell me about Dumpy the baby. I've seen so many of those babies, man. I've seen so many of them. Tell me about Dumpy. <laughs> um, I have Dumpy because I'm like, okay, like, I think, I just said, like, I found him on Instagram because, like, um, he was one of my, oh, damn, I don't even know if I want to bring that up, but, um, I don't really care. <laughs> But he, you, you know, you're, you know, um, you know Nadir. Yeah, we just hung out yesterday. Yeah, um, Nadir's friend Conrad. Um, they, him and Imran used to be really good friends. Yeah. And I and Conrad lived in Charlotte for a little minute, and I knew Conrad kind of. So Conrad kind of like plugged me onto Imran. Yeah. Well, uh, so, um, yeah, that's how I met Imran, and Imran was just, like, really fucking with me, and he was, he, a long time ago, he had this brand called Bala Biscuit, and he sent me a couple hats, and he, like, let me model them, and, well, he didn't let me model them, I just, like, he just sent me some hats, and I took pictures of them, and he was, like, just blessing me, because I was, he just really liked me as a person, and my art and stuff, because, I don't know, and, um, yeah, so he recently, like, made the babies, and he finally, like, produced them, made a whole bunch of them, and he made this post, he was like, comment on this post, and tell me how you would be a good father, and I commented on the post, and he chose me, DM me, he was like, dude, you're day one, you get dumb. <laughs> oh, man, that is, that's fire, man. Yeah, he's selling them for, like, $200, and I got dumpy for free. <laughs> that is dope. Okay, man. What do you like to do in your spare time, aside from drawing? Aside from drawing? Yeah. Uh, I smoke a lot of weed. <laughs> I skateboard. Um, I hang out with my best friend, Ryan. Okay. I hang out my other best friend, Melina, she's my best friend. She's going to be a really, like, beautiful model in the future. She's going to be at the top. I'm going to bring her to the top. Hey. And um, what else I like to do? I mean, I have a diary. I write a lot. 
That's not cool. like it's the same difference as drawing. <laughs> but I'm, I'm never showing me like my writing. I like I write poems. No one really knows that. Yo, that's fire. And uh, yeah, I just like chill on the block with my friends. Oh well, I'm dead. But <laughs> I guess I'll, I'll just be chilling half the time. You know, I like thrifting. Yeah, that's dope. Yo, so do you? Okay, from hanging around all these rappers and stuff and making cover art for them, do you ever plan on becoming a rapper or, like, a producer? Yeah, I actually make beats and I do make music. I'm doing this art so I can start music later on in life. Yo, that's fire. Yeah, like, I I have so, like, the plan couldn't go any smoother than it's going right now because... I'm talking to, like, some of the artists that I listen to every day. That's fire, dude. Yeah, it's just a blessing. Like, I I thank my mom for, like, telling me to keep going and, like, never, like, to stop. It's all, like, a work asset that you have to, like, stay focused on. Like, a lot of people, they want clout and they want to do all this stuff but like you also need to show the talent and the work and time and effort and just and you just gotta show that you want it you gotta have like good image good branding it's all it takes dang that's the truth okay so in your opinion who has just a dope Instagram like you're searching pages you're looking around and like you just see someone, you're like, man, this dude just has a dope Instagram. Like, I just like getting posts from this guy. Uh, I gotta go on my IG real quick. Mm, there's like two people that I had in mind. Um, Damn, this is a random question. <laughs> I feel uh, like uh, no, I I have it, but like I don't know why my fucking Instagram isn't loading. I would have to say Leon Carson. Ooh. Yeah, I like his blue cats. Yeah, in middle school, um, I used to steal his style all the time. Heck yeah! Like, I'm just gonna be straight up with that. I used to draw those cats all the time. But I would, I would give him his credit. Like, everyone would always be like, "What the freak is that?" And I'd be like, "That's Liam Carson cat." <laughs> oh man. Yo, do you lot do you watch a lot of uh YouTube? Yeah. Do you have a uh, favorite YouTuber? Uh, yeah, I do. My I'm damn, that's another hard question. <laughs> uh hitting them with the heavy ones. Nah, this one's gonna be this one's gonna be sus. I really like Funk Bros. You like who? Funk Bros. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. There, there's these, it's just like two dudes who literally like do random stuff. They have like a bunch of money, so they waste it. And yeah, it's, yeah, it's like really stuff. Nice people who know about, about it and like they're interviewed, they're like, wow, it's too lame. <laughs> that actually seems pretty dope. Yeah, they just, like, jump on trampolines and shit. <laughs> okay. What is your best or favorite flat ground skate trick? Trick flip. Hey. I feel I the same way. I on straight lock. Hey. That's the best way to get him. For real. Mm-hmm. Okay. What's your most recent funny memory? Like, your funniest, most recent memory? 
Um, my funniest, most recent memory. Damn, let me think. Let me think. Oh, I'm trying to think. <laughs> oh, I'll have to say yesterday. I was yeah. Yesterday I was on the phone with this girl, and she like fell down the stairs or something like that. You snap! What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's I was just weak. That's the only way I can remember. Crazy. Okay, so are you a big party guy or you just like to relax? Uh, I've recently really, really been wanting to go to a party. Like, I like, last year, I wasn't a party guy at all. Like, like every time I'm like out or every time I'm like with my friends, like they used to always like sneak out and go to parties and I dead ass would literally be the one to not sneak out and like stay home while everyone like sneaked out I would like literally just KO <laughs> but um but recently I like I don't drink I smoke more than I drink but like I recently threw a party with my friend Y and I drunk and I only like to like drink with my best friend and my my girl best friend so like I don't know. I, I I guess I'm a party guy now because I don't know. It's it's fun now. <laughs> it, it didn't used to be fun. Yeah. Now you enjoy it a ton, huh? <laughs> yeah. Now, yeah. Now I now I like it because I don't know. Like I I guess I didn't really know how fun it was because I never went. Like I I just never wanted to go. Yeah. That makes sense. Okay. So. Do you have a shoe that you've always wanted to skate, but you can't because it just looks too nice or someone said you just can't? Do you just have that skate shoe that just looks beautiful, but you just can't skate it? Yeah, I have Jordans that I want to skate. I, I used to skate Jordans, but I barely even skate. But the only skate shoe that like I wear... It's old school, slow tops, and like those are like my everyday shoes, and I have like seven pairs of those. Like, like I don't know. I just be skating all my shoes. I really don't give a fuck. <laughs> but like, when I was younger, that was yeah. When I was younger, that was a whole different story. Yeah. But I guess uh, then I guess like when I was younger, I had some, like, bread ones that I wanted to skate, but I couldn't skate, but I ended up skating them. Oh, but dang. The ones that I, like, couldn't skate, that I wanted to skate, were some bread ones. Dang. And that was, like, 8th grade, and, like, I ended up skating them, like, 10th grade. Yeah, that's fire. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, do you have anything in the works right now at the moment? Could you tell me about it or nah? It's too so it's top secret. Anything in the works? Yeah. Uh, nothing secret. I'm gonna start making. Okay, I'm gonna release my first music video soon. Ooh. My first directed music video. Okay. And, um, th I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna start releasing music videos. And, um, I'm gonna start working on a short film. I, like, I, I started a short film a long time ago, but it was, like, a crew short film that was called Dirty Kids. I remember but, that, man. Yeah. Uh, Dirty Kids had, like, broke up. It was me and a whole bunch of friends, but, like, 
things had happened, like, um, the filming had got, like, messed up, and it was, like, an all-iPhone film movie, too. Yeah, it looks sick. Yeah, it was, it was, like, only a few select people saw it, but, yeah, I'm gonna start a new short film. That is dope, man. That is dope. I don't have a title for it yet, but, yeah, you guys could, like, you can, yeah, I can say that short film, music videos, and probably some more EP beat collabs. Like, I, I did a EP beat collab with my homie Thrax from New York, Thrax Ooh. Beats, and I'm, we should be releasing another one. Ooh. Yo, you dropping the heat. So, you're basically on the same train I'm on right now. Like, I'm just trying to do everything. Yeah, yeah. You're on, we're on the same train right now. Um, I just released, like, a whole entire album of music videos that, that I'm in. And then I, uh, I'm making a short film currently. Hey. And, like, we're, like, we're on that train right now. I Thank feel that, time. I feel that. Heck yeah. So, man, what's next for you? What's next? Yeah. Um, I don't know, probably, uh, probably some more paintings, I don't know what's next, who knows, that's, that's the thing, like, that's the thing about me, I don't know what's next, like, I will wake up, and I will see something, or I'll have a random spark that will make me create something that's freaking dope as crap randomly or whack who knows because random things inspire me heck yes yo okay so this is the last this is the last thing do you have any shout outs or anything you need to promote anything I need to promote yeah um, shout outs I'll shout out my art page Dirty Boy Art and um I don't really need to promote anything, but find them. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'll put it up on the screen. <laughs> okay, bro. Thanks for coming through on the pointless interview. I hope to have you back, man. I do. So, for real. Yeah. This is probably gonna blow up in the future. Heck yeah. I'm. I'm guessing. I'm guessing that this is just instantly gonna get like a hundred to like a thousand views, cause you know. We're just that popping, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, good talking to you, man. Good talking to you. Thanks for having me, bro. No problem. I'm Devin Knight, and this has been Pointless Interviews. Bye. Gang, 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 gang.